It's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kurt. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel, and today we're going to be checking out the band Silent Civilian, and the song is called The Song Remains Unnamed. Now, we have done this band before. Yes. We did The Last Man Standing off of the album that followed this particular album. This was their debut album, uh, featuring, what's his name? Guy Johnny, from Spain, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Santos. Where from are these guys from? LA, they'll be well over. Yeah, it's it's somewhere, Spain, right? somewhere in America. Sorry. Uh, but I wanted to go back to this one because this was the song that kind of, having been a big Spine Shank fan uh, when this came out, this was the first song I heard uh, and was very different to what you got from Spine Shank and really got me into the band. So I thought it'd be a good one because I doubt you guys have heard this. So yeah, it'd be interesting to get you in. Uh, I think this is an MTV2 video. So this will be like 2005 yeah. one, I mean, yeah. uh, We'll pause as we need to. Uh, let's get into the video. Count it in. Three, two, one. Got to pause it before we kick into the first verse. Uh, first impressions, Andy. I like the vocal raw. Raw. Yeah, sort of <laughs> dueling dual guitars. Yeah, very melodic. Um, more in the vein, you know, more in the area of sort of traditional heavy metal. Mm. I don't know what these what these guys are, you know, where they sit in the genres. But yes, yeah, so first thoughts are sort of. I want to steal what you just said, Cove Iron Maiden, you know. It's, 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 I'm a priest. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's more latter-day priest in the sense of, uh, in the like, 90s priest in my opinion, what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's got that energy of, the, the uh, era is very much stars. the, do you remember, for a while we were calling this era the new wave of American heavy metal, weren't we? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This very much falls into that, you know, like Lamb of God at the time when they're building with that trivium. Uh, Shadows Fall even so yeah, yeah. yeah. And so this I know that this song I've never heard it before is all going to be about energy crunchy guitars and then a bit of heavy metal showmanship with really aggressive vocals that's what I'm expecting because that was the power it's not far off that yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's keep going This is the radio edit because a lot of those sections on the album go longer. Uh, so there's little transitional pieces. So we've had a verse, we've had a chorus. Uh, Kirk? I've said this before. Okay, then we don't have to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I'm going to say. It. I've said this before. I am grateful to this era of the new wave of American heavy metal or metal core, as you want to call it, because it helped to revive thrash metal. Mm. Certainly the big four start playing fast again after hearing younger bands like this, they kind of made it more technical again. And yeah, so I uh, like the energy. If this was 2005, I'd be all over this. Obviously we know what's become of metalcore since then. I'm not going to be too critical of the switch to the clean chorus because that wasn't a cliche at the time when the song came out. Now it happens in every metalcore song, but good energy to this. And then did you, after that first chorus, even though it's a radio edit, did you hear the chug in there, the thrash, probably playing in yeah. Dropsy. My, that, a lot that of classic was, metal, a lot oh, of classic thrash. If I was there, I'd be, I'd be losing my shit, as the Americans say. <laughs> and it, I was really surprised from the sort of opening dueling guitars that we labelled as sort of priest, maiden kind of thing, how aggressive and heavy the, the, the guitars were, and almost simplistic. 
and then just before the, sorry after the course the next riff was kind of almost reminded me of Exodus as well sort of the, mm -hmm. the single note melody yeah. uh, thrashy riff but yeah I like the guy's vocals as well I, I didn't like the melodic clean transition the sort of metalcore yeah. cliche one as you call it I preferred the sort of more aggressive style carrying on with that although I do like sort of when you know metalcore bands do that that particular style I do like it but for this particular track I'd prefer to carry on with the with the with the snarls and the aggression. Okay. Let's keep going. Civilian and the song remains unnamed. I'm going to go to Kurt first for this one. So you've just confirmed Johnny Santos was not playing guitar in Spine Shank. No. That is criminal. So Spine Shank, a new metal band, were harboring a shredder. He obviously was the front man and the singer. Mm. How technical was that guitar solo? Do you know what I like about Silent Civilian? Obviously, there's a backlash against new metal from 2003 onwards, and he's just got fuck this, I'm going to continue and write the most metal thing possible. <laughs> Tubing guitars, shredding solos, headbanging thrash riffs. Yes, you've still got the radio-friendly chorus in there. All about the adrenaline surge, isn't it, in music like that. A whole album of that probably would grow tight after six songs, but I'm just transporting myself back to the mid-2000s, and this was such a, years ago, basically. such a breath of fresh air for metal, because we were thinking, where, where are we going to go after new metal? We've got black metal, we've got In Flames and this European music coming through. Another band who benefited from this, Machine Head. It gave them a way to start revisiting their metal roots, because, you know, they've done the Burning Red, they've done the mm. one after it, Supercharger. This is a good recovery from the new metal fallout. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this, I, is, where, this is where Thrash and stuff, because all you had around then was the classic thrash bands of Metallica and Megadeth and they were out of they were all classes old hat new wave of British metal heavy metal was still doing fine yeah the old fogies they love that shit mm -hmm. uh, not not the youth of the generation was going through on that unless it was you were bringing them up as your kids but they needed some modern thrash yeah. and this is where and it brought back guitar solos yeah. as well didn't it I mean now yeah. when you, any, every band it's like you've got to be a great a guitar player and sweet pink strings you yeah. know if you're going to be playing thrash or death metal or prog so I'm, I'm being very positive I'm thinking about what this offered at the time if that was a new band then I'd be bored shitless because I've heard it so many times but 
Uh, Johnny Santos, I did not know that you were capable of this. I was never really into Spine Shank. I did formally say they were a shit version of Fear Factor. That's very harsh. Because I did go back to listen to their 2001 album, and that's actually quite a good album. There's some good mm. dissonant uh, guitar chords in some of those choruses they play. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. Are they still going, Dave? What, Silence of Yeah, yeah they've got a new album coming out at some point in the future. Uh, they were working like last time I had messaged with them, so yeah. Yeah, no, I'll hopefully get them on the channel to talk about it. Definitely, Johnny Santos. Andy? Um, never heard of Spine Shank, but I really enjoyed that. I would have, again, I'll, I'll re readdress my comment about the course. Of it, that kind of almost transition to an almost different song to me because mm. you, you know you've got these great solos which I'm, I'm not a really solo guy but they fit really well I mean he's a, he's a great player I love the ferocity of his vocals and, and you know the, the, the simplistic verse riff you know the hand was like he was doing that but it, it was really really good yeah it worked really well and then you've got this sort of metal core chorus with a clean vocal yeah, it's, it's like a radio rock chorus isn't yeah, it isn't, yeah. you, how can you go from aggression to something like that which is it's almost atonal, isn't it? Because yeah. it's like it's hard to find melody from that, and it's the worst kind of attempt to introduce melody in there. Something soothing it just doesn't work, does yeah, it? Not on that particular track, anyway. And, and the video, I'll forgive them for that because it was new at the time. Yeah, the video was really good. Yeah, you know, there's a real story element that started with jail scenes, and you thought, well, what, what's what's the, what's the background here? And then you 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 explored the sort of you know, the, the four young people having a good time, drinking and messing around, and then, you know, fatal shooting, and then we're, we're back to sort of the prison scene. So that worked really well. In, in the cut with the... It looked like, not a live performance, but let's get some people in... Yeah. In, into, in a, a in, into a concert venue and, and record a video, and, you know, we'll, we'll make you look like you're enjoying a, a, silent, civilian, a silent civilian show. Mm. But, yeah, really, you know, I want to check these guys out more. I really enjoyed that a lot. Uh, you know, just a shame about the chorus. I don't know, I don't so, know if that's a you know, yeah. an element like, you know, doing other songs. What was your reaction then, because you were a Spine Shank fan? You must have been shocked when you saw this video and thought, is that Johnny from Spine Shank? Is it very different? It is, yes. More Spine grinding. Shank is, yeah, this is definitely more classic, uh, fresh. Uh, they were classic. I mean, you're talking about Spine Shank being a, some sort of cross between Static X, Fear Factory. Orgy, that type Orgy, of thing. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a kind of a mix of those sort of things in. So it's very, very different. The latter day Spine Shank vocally was a bit more similar to this. Um, so he had used that, but there was a lot more use of samples and stuff in Spine Shank. Uh, so when this came out, really, really enjoyed it. And I disagree about the vocals and the chorus. I actually think it works really, really well in the sense that it gives you that respite and that breather to sing along and if you are into your if so if you're looking at spine shank and you're talking about uh songs like beginning of, beginning of the end this is the end of the end and i don't know he sang in that kind of clean vocal style so when you then transition to his other band by bringing that sort of vocal style in you've got that connection with the spine shank fans because what you've got is a hooky chorus you can sing along to i could fucking remember any of the words from the verses I am the blood that killed in something, something veins, blah, blah, blah. That's basically what I remember from the verses. <laughs> Just a lot of shouting. But the chorus, I can sing along. So I can headbang all my way through the verses and then it's... Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 the bitter end, the burning pride. He's even raising his yeah. head. I've got in that's the a sing -along. Power And I guarantee if that was playing in the car as I was driving, I'd sing the chorus Ooh. and then it'd go back and I'd be like, just headbang yeah. away again. So that's my memory, that's my hook, that's what I'm going to take out of it, and I think that's why they put it in there. I completely think if they'd gone down an aggressive vocal solo for chorus, it wouldn't be as memorable for me. Do but you, it works for do me. You know, both. Here's an idea for metalcore bands, if they want to get out of this rut, listen to the Nine Inch Nail song, March of the Pigs, and it does the opposite of the metalcore cliche, so it starts heavy, the bridge will slow down a bit, and then the chorus is just a voice and piano. So can you imagine if that had done that? That same thing as Trent Reznor does in March of the Pigs. That would have been incredible. There's a thought. There we go. It's on that bombshell there, by Kurt. <laughs> Listen to March of the Pigs and try to incorporate that into a song structure. Now, that will be original. That was a bombshell there by Kurt for you. Uh, Silence of Alien, the song remains unnamed. If you enjoyed our video today, please do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.